Hello, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to have you guys here with me today. We are doing a little get ready with me. I'm doing this look right here. I've got on my face. I will have all the products listed for you guys down in the description box in case I don't mention something as I'm getting ready and just talking to you guys about what's really been going on, where I've been, and why I've been so absent here on my channel these last, like, I think it's been maybe a week and a half, two weeks. Um, but yeah, we're playing with some drugstore products, some high-end, we've got NYX, we've got Dior, we've got Charlotte Tilbury, Tatcha, Merit Beauty, Vive, Natasha Denona, so if any of that sounds good to you and you're interested in how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Hello everyone, welcome back, it's been a while, so I thought that we could just chill, catch up with each other, and do a little get ready with me. Um, really, I don't have much on my agenda. I have to film a couple of other videos that I want to get up for my channel. But I just, I wanted to come on here and do a get ready with me and tell you guys kind of what's been going on because it's been kind of crazy. Um, I've already moisturized. I'm going in with a little bit of the Tatcha liquid silk canvas. I have a little mini I'm trying to get through. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit of that and I'm going to put that in the center of my face. But like I said, things have been, things have been nuts. So on January 3rd, we got like 10 and a half, 12 inches of snow. And you know, in our area, we usually we don't get snow like that guys so nobody was prepared and like the local governments and stuff they didn't even really like prepare the roads or anything like that and I mean that really is besides the point for me personally I wouldn't really be going anywhere but nobody was prepared for that kind of snow and why it got so bad and it was so crazy is because we lost power for like four days four days without power we just got power back on thursday and right now as i'm filming this it's saturday so we've only had power back for two days and it really it was a time i'm going to use a little bit of my hollywood flawless filter i have it in 4.5 and in day one from the time i woke up on the third we had no power like I woke up to nothing and it was horrible my phone was like barely charged I think it was at like 20% because I'd been up with Teddy my little 16 month old I was up with him all through the night so my phone hadn't been on the charger I forgot to put it back on before I had like fallen asleep officially for the night and uh, I was freaking out about that because I was like, how am I going to charge my phone? What if there's an emergency? How am I going to communicate with the outside world? So that was horrible. It was just like a bad life choice on my part. I should have thought things a little bit better through. I'm going to use my Dior Forever Skin Glow 3WO. This is the old formulation. But yeah, man, I woke up day one. Phone not charged, completely dead. I don't know how I managed to do that. Um, well, not completely, but pretty much. For the most part. For all intensive purposes. The kids were still sleeping when I got up. That was probably my saving grace. So I could just like process what was going on. I went and I looked at... I went to report the outage, of course. And they're like... 30,000 people without power, 1,500 outages. My heart, my heart sank. Because whenever something like that happens, we're the last people to get power. <sighs> the last. And that's just because like we're so far out and we're so far removed from like the main population because we are in such a rural area. Like our driveway itself pretty much is a private road like more or less just because it's so long like just to get back to where we live it's like a mile so we're super cut off and we are always the last people to get power back when power goes out I remember during the summer when I was pregnant with Teddy 
we lost power for like three days. It was miserable, no air conditioning, no nothing. I had to sleep on the floor in my living room because it just was so insanely hot. Which is what we had to do again. We had to all camp out, camp out in the living room because just, it was so cold in here. Like you could see your breath by like 12.30 that day. It was like probably 6.37 when I had gotten up. And by 12.30 that day, it was so cold in the house you could see your breath. And we had the kids bundled up in sleepers and they were with me in the living room all day long. And I had blankets and pillows and everything. I made like a little bed on the floor. And I did everything I could to try to keep them warm. Teddy just woke up. My mom does have him. She is with him right now. So don't think that my baby is just crying and not being taken care of. He totally is. My mom's with him right now. He's just being fussy because he just got up. But like I had said, kids were super bundled up and sleepers. I had blankets and stuff everywhere. And guys, when I tell you that that didn't cut it, that didn't make a difference, I thought we were all going to freeze to death inside the house. It, I mean, like, it was that serious. We had no heat for two days. And the only reason why we had gotten heat in the first place was because my sister-in-law, her uncle happened to be over at the house. And he's like, oh, yeah, guys, I have something over at their house, not our house. And he happened to be like, oh, yeah, guys, I totally have a generator just chilling under your back porch that nobody knew about. And we were super lucky. It was just like a right time, right place, right people, everything. So we got the generator over here on day two. But before that, it that was really like, it was so hard. Like, you no know, running water. You can't flush toilets. You can't like wash the kids up super easily when messes are made, you know, stuff like that. Just like things you take for granted. My life was made so much more difficult. So I am very happy that I'm so lucky to be so blessed and have so many privileges in my life. And like the, the first two days were also really hard because mind you, it gets dark probably around like four o'clock my kids usually don't go to bed until like 8 39 sometimes they stay up a little bit later sometimes they don't it really depends like on how they're feeling and whatnot well can you imagine what my life was like with two little children two little toddlers for like four hours in the dark because when i tell you it was a fucking nightmare it was a fucking nightmare like, I, I was about to lose my mind. I didn't know what to do. I was, I was losing it. I was holding it together for, like, what little bit I could. But even then, guys, no. It just, it, it was not a good time. Not at all. If it had lasted any longer and we didn't get that generator, I don't know what I would have done. That generator literally made everything so much easier. And like we still didn't have like TV or anything for them to watch, but it made it easier for them to have light to play. They weren't falling all over the place because that was another big concern of mine is because they have like three, four toy boxes in our living room. And I'm like, oh my God, somebody's going to get hurt. They're going to pull toys out and they're not going to be paying attention. They're going to trip and fall. They're going to have scrapes, and bruises all over themselves after this. And honestly, that probably would have happened, really, if I hadn't watched them so closely and been, like, so paranoid. But luckily, everybody is fine. Everybody survived the blizzard. Like, barely, but everybody survived here in our house. It's just, like, that. this kind of thing happened last year in Texas, I think, right? Yeah, it happened in Texas, and, like, people were freezing in their homes because they didn't have the infrastructure. I mean, does it get this cold usually here? No, it does not usually snow like this here in the part of Maryland that I live. I know more north of me, they usually get some snow, maybe to the west, what have you. 
but in my area we're lucky if we ever get a dusting so this was way out of the ordinary and it just took so long for the power people to get everything back on because they weren't used to the conditions i think i read somewhere that they like had to bring in special like bulldozers and stuff to get through the snow because it was just so heavy and so wet and like all the trees and stuff being down i guess made it really difficult for them also i probably haven't been doing a good job of telling you guys what i'm using it's gonna be down in the description box for you i'm sorry sometimes i'm just really bad at that when it comes to like get ready with me but for all sense of purposes <laughs> I'm using the Merit um, Little Cream Blush thing. I've got the shade Cheeky. I haven't really used it a whole bunch and I'm gonna get some more use out of it. It's a really lovely formula. It's just so pretty and it goes on so easy. No muss, no fuss. And I was worried that the color was gonna be like a little bit something I wasn't gonna jive, but I quite like it. It's very pretty. Mm, I love being blushed. I haven't really worn makeup or anything either in like the last week oh and then you guys see this that happened day two of the power outage like it started down like way down here on like the top of my chest bottom of my neck i got like a whole rash all the way up here and it wrapped around and it was going up my face it was not fun <laughs> i ate something and I don't know what it was, but I know that it was like food related. It had to be. I did, it's not like, it was never raised like a bug bite or anything like that. It just literally was a rash from something that I ate. I have pretty severe allergies to things. It's definitely gotten worse since I've gotten older and I've had kids. It's gotten way worse. Like my, just like being so allergic to stuff and having the kind of reactions that I do. Remember when I was pregnant, it was a crazy time. Every time I turned around, I was going to the doctor for some kind of rash or something. They probably, I don't know what they th could have thought of me, but they definitely thought I was like a crazy person or like a hypochondriac, cause I would call all the time. But that did provide me with the knowledge to know in this case that yeah i just ate something funky i just had to get that foundation that was built up on my lips off i'm gonna throw on a lip or something mm, let's use this one this is the summer fridays a lip butter bomb and what shade is this i think this is vanilla beige yes vanilla beige i like i don't know i think i kind of like it I've only used it a couple times. I'm not like fully convinced I like the Summer Fridays lip balm formula stuff. It's like, it's nice. You know, typical lip balm and a squeeze tube. I don't feel like it really gives me like that much more moisture than my Jouer. And I feel like I can probably get a multi-pack of the Jouer for a cheaper price than the Summer Fridays. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about that too. But, um, moving right along, guys. I'm going to put on some highlighter. I'm going to use my Nautilus Skin Glazing and Privilege. But, yeah, guys, that's where I've been. I haven't been here because we haven't had power. And we literally have only had power back for two days. So the past two days, I've really been trying to catch up on, like, stuff around the house. Like in those four days, I can't tell you how much laundry piled up. And granted, it was because I hadn't done laundry before this all happened. I mean, I could, I didn't prepare. <laughs> I didn't like, oh yeah, let's uh, go do some laundry in preparation for this blizzard because who knows when we'll be able to wash clothes again. No, I just ignored it. So I got all my laundry caught up, cleaned up all the rooms because after being isolated in the living room with both kids for four days, it definitely needed a deep clean. They had food everywhere. Everywhere. Mm, okay, my complexion is done. I think I'm gonna do my brows. Yeah, I'm just gonna do those real quick. Mm. 
to use my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I've heard some people say that they really don't like this, but honestly, I really do enjoy this brow pencil. I feel like the formula is not too creamy. The color ranges are very nice, and I feel like the browns, they don't lean too warm unless you select like a warm leaning color, which I very do appreciate. Because the problem I have a lot of the time with like brow pencils is they just lean too warm. And with my blonde hair, you know, I keep it pretty icy. So it doesn't always look the best with like a super warm brown brow pencil. I'm just like really messily filling them in. So I'm going to brush them up with some gel and go in with a brow pen. So I'm just like going over any area that looks kind of sparse. I'm really more so focusing the product towards like the bottom half of my brow, not really messing with the top half. And so I want to know, has anybody else had any winter weather? Well, luckily, my husband had gone to work that day that the snow had started and he's um, a tow driver. So he's always all over the place in the trucks and stuff and when I started hearing that, you know, people were getting stuck on the Beltway, which is like um, a major interstate. Yeah, major interstate. It's like I-95 or whatever. And here in Maryland and in Virginia. And I was like, oh my God, he is not prepared for this. He does not have supplies. What is he, he's gonna lose it. What is he gonna do? Luckily he wasn't stuck in anything. And really, it probably would have made more of a difference to me than to him. He really probably would have been fine. I just would have been losing it. I don't do well in high stress situations. Hmm. My brows really don't look too bad like that. All right, we're having a good brow day. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Kosas Air Brow. It is my favorite brow gel right now. It really just like gives me all the brow I want. It's a voluminizing, it's got a nice tint, and I feel like it really does coat my brow hairs. Like some brow gels I've tried, like cheaper ones, I really haven't had this problem with like a more like higher end of luxury formulas, but like a cheaper ones I would find like the wands really weren't coating every hair. Like I really would have to work and fight with it to get it like in there. And this I really don't have to do that. And I like that. I like that it easily just like coats all the hairs. You know, I'm not gonna go in with a brow pen because I feel like with how the brows are going, they look really good right now, at least by my standards for usual. And I feel like if I go in with a brow pen, I'm gonna end up with way too much brow. We shall not do that. Now for eyes today, I am going, ooh to dip into my Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This was a little gift that my husband got me right before all of the weather sat, set in. He had gone, I think on the second, he had gone to Sephora for me. I really didn't feel like going and he was like, baby, I'll take care of it. What do you need? And I was like, well, you know, we got those fragrance samplers. I want to redeem our little certificates. I want to get our fragrances. And he's like, okay, I'll go do that for you. And he comes back with two Natasha Denona palettes. He got me this one and the bronze palette. So I was very happy with that. And as you guys saw, I had just like concealed my lids and put some pressed powder on it. I'm not going to do anything else. This is chill. I'm not going for like super impactful, super longevity. I just want to do something softish ish. I'm going to take the shade crease and I'm just going to put that like everywhere. But he got me these. I thought that was so sweet. Like he really has been thinking about me a lot lately, which is very nice because I've, I've been struggling. I've been having a rough go of it. It's hard sometimes when you're at home by yourself with kids all the time. It's really, it's taxing like mentally. And I love my children. They're amazing. My kids are great, but it's, it's just mentally taxing sometimes. And so it's nice to be appreciated. 
I figure while I'm here, I can talk to you guys kind of like about kind of what my plans are going forward in this new year with my channel. I really have a whole bunch of things planned for you guys to see shortly. Like I'm going to be doing, I think two project pans and I'm still going to be doing like my throwback tutorials. I plan to, you know, be a little bit more active on Instagram and really try to include you guys in that. I thought that would be super fun. Um, so keep your eyes out. Definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because we're doing a lot this year. And of course, I'm still going to be doing like new product reviews and stuff, you know, as I bring products into my collection. But I, I'm not one of those people that is going to go out and buy makeup just for the sake of reviewing the makeup. I'm going to buy the makeup because I want to buy the makeup and review the makeup because I bought the makeup because I wanted it, not the other way, vice versa, you know, and yeah, I just, I don't know, I'm not really, I don't really want to be that person. There's plenty of those people out here that, you know, they buy makeup just for the sake of like reviewing it on their channel and good for them. But that's just not the life that I would like to live. I feel like that's just too stressful. It's too much to worry about. Like, I couldn't imagine, like, keeping up with every new release on top of everything else that I'm dealing with on a regular basis. And, like, having to, like, plan when I have to buy something and all that stuff so I don't miss it. Like, I don't want to be bothered with all that. I'm gonna be honest but if I do really want a product I'm gonna buy it and then you know I'll review it for you guys because I wanted it not all that other stuff which I think is really important too because here on my channel I really do want to have a balance I don't want to have like a whole bunch of product reviews and everything because at the end of the day this isn't a place where I'm trying to sell you something this is a place for us to just get together and talk about makeup and, you know, create some looks. Hopefully I inspire you, you know, hopefully we can connect and have a chit chat. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. And like content wise, I really am going to be pushing to do a lot of throwback tutorials. We're going to be doing a lot of like three looks, one palettes. I really want to pull all of my palettes out of my collection. And I want to do that with majority of them. And then I think I might start doing like a rotational one week, one palette with you guys. Aside from the pan that palette that I want to do this year. My camera had cut off and I took the headband off. But we're back here and I don't remember what I was saying. Other than like explaining the content for the year and everything. And that I'm planning on doing like maybe a rotational one week one palette. I def want to do like lots of three looks one palettes with a lot of the stuff in my collection. Um, I definitely am doing like an eyeshadow project pan this year. I'm doing a pan that palette, which is going to be fun. Never done one of those before. So it'll be very interesting to see how it turns out and like how successful I'll be. I think that's going to be, I think I'm going to film the intro right after this, I think, maybe. Depends on if I have time. Depends on my little children and if they need me. They'll definitely let me know. They'll come right on in here and they'll come get me. I used this palette once before. And honestly, I'm very happy that my husband thought of me and he got me this. But I think I could have done without. I don't know. Cool tones just usually aren't my thing. At least not like a cool tones like this. Like your grays. And like a black. If I'm going to do cool tones, I'm usually like reaching for like a purple. Even occasionally a blue. I do do that sometimes. Mm. I guess that'll do. That will do us today. I know that she like 
in this palette particularly, she's like, oh, use this for this and use this for that. I don't know about you guys, but like, honestly, I kind of find that a little like deterring in a palette. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, but sometimes it makes me like not want to use something if it like is it telling me how I should use it. I don't know. It's just like a weird thing, but I can't lie. The shades in here are very pretty. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of liner with this like lash line shade, this black here. Just wanna just darken up my lash line. I added a wee bit of a wing. Okay. The wings are not even. But you know, I've learned in my time, it's fine. I just don't wanna fuss with it. I don't wanna fuss with it. Um, I'm gonna do a black liner. We're gonna be different today. I'm going to use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Black. Every time I tight line my eyes, they water so bad. Every time. I'm gonna go in with my Bite Up Swing Mascara. I am curious, what was everybody's favorite mascara from this year? I know that Maybelline Sky High was super popular, but honestly, I didn't like it. I did not like it at all. I thought that it really, I had a hard time getting it to coat my lashes evenly. Like it would just kind of build at the base and not like follow all the way to the top of my lash. Which I mean like if you want that, that's one thing, but I wasn't going for it. I really have loved to bite upswing ever since I tried it earlier this year. I was a roller lash and damn girl from Too Faced. Dan, that was all I used. But this stuff, hoo -hoo -hoo, this is my favorite. I could definitely see, like once I got the rest of the mascaras out of my collection, I could see myself like only repurchasing this pretty much exclusively for mascara. Because I feel like mascaras are like that product where like once you find what works for you, unless you have the need to have like mascaras for different purposes like if you want a volumizing one and a lengthening one or like a traditional and a waterproof or a traditional tubing you know whatever if you're the person that likes that that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but i just i feel like they're one of those products that's just easier to be like oh yeah i only need one yeah i just need this one this one will do Okay, now we need to do something about these lips. These lips, these lips, these lips. What am I gonna use for you? These lips. I'm gonna use Sandstorm from NYX. You guys know that's like my color. It's my lips but better. I really do enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna go right on top with Velvet Teddy from MAC. I just have a little mini. I'm trying to use him up too. And then I wanna go in with just like a touch of gloss. I've got this one from NYX. It's a butter gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. How fancy. It's very pinky. All right, I'm gonna zoom out and we'll have a little chat, guys. All right, guys, so this is the finished look all completed. It is nice. Cool tones aren't usually my jam, but you know, we did the damn thing. And I, I just wanna play with the Natasha Denona Glam palette a little bit more get a little bit more familiar with it since you know the color story is not usually my thing play around and get more familiar we definitely did that and I wanted to you know talk to you guys about what had been going on in my life recently where I've been why I haven't been here and kind of give you an insight on what's to come to so I think we covered all the bases guys and I really hope you enjoy just sitting down and playing in the makeup with me, doing this little chit chat, get ready with me. If you like content like this, then please subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I do all kinds of beauty content here on my channel and I hope to see you again soon. So until then, bye bye.